hit with Ryan Liu from Allen, Texas with a vertical spinner. Uh, repeater, that's two robots on the same side. Miles Sims from Smyrna, Georgia. Another two-part robot, both spinning over 200 miles per hour. Interesting difference in strategy here. You've got one robot with two identical halves, the other robot with two different halves. Whose strategy is going to come out on top? Scurry Fest has been dominant with that wedge, but against two opponents, how is it going to work? Yeah, both these bots really meant to go after a single opponent. Coming out fast, there are parts flying. I can't tell who that came off of. No, me neither. But there you see the Crash Fest portion of Scurry Fest getting a nice pin at the beginning and then losing it right off the bat. Looks like that was the front armor of one of the repeaters. Yes, Has it does. come off entirely. And now already getting another pin and bouncing all over the box. The wow. other half of Repeater is stuck upside down, now pinned in the corner behind the house spot. Scurry Fest has come out strong here, knocking both Repeater halves upside down, and Repeater is just Ooh. unable to come back here. Without both robots, they are struggling. Ooh, what nice hell? shot wow. there from one of the repeater halves up against Scurry Fest. The half without the front wedge is still going, flipping over its, its partner. Yeah, now both partners still in play. What a fight. Repeater coming back strong here. And Robert Run not able to land the pins that we've seen him be able to land throughout this tournament. Oh, that strategy really big failing them. Hits with Scurry Fest stuck in the wall. Able to shake themselves loose just by wiggling that weapon blade enough. Not needing to use their unstick. That could be big. Wow. And there you see this grind weapon on weapon action undercutter trying to cut away at the wheels of one half of Repeater. Oh, nice no. shot there, but that's half of the drive system gone off of the Scurry Fest bot. Scurry Fest has hit their own wheel off of their wedge bot. Ouch. That is not gonna be good. No, that is a massive portion of their strategy. They All still the seem to be controlling this fight, but that will count them. It cost them a lot in damage. There is a lot of debris all over this arena. You can what? see one half of the repeater is not moving very well. Seems like repeater is getting stuck on some of this debris that's strewn about. Now Scurry yeah. Fest has to be careful not to knock the other wheel off their own robot. But repeater again now matchup. lost half of their robot. Back and forth this fight goes. Now all of Scurry Fest is moving, but it does look like the red half of Repeater is not, and the blue half is not making much sense right now in the box. No, they, their maneuverability is toast on both halves. Unable to really get that control they've been showing all night. Scurry Fest, on the other hand, still going super strong with the larger half of their robot. Yeah, Miles really pulling out his full strategy in this one. He's not left anything up to Robert Run. Wow. The crowd counting down to the end of this fight. Woo! And that is the end of your three pound finals. This will go wow. to the judges oh. and they will decide who the first golden dumpster winner of 2024 is. Back and forth battle the whole time, right to the buzzer. That was a great fight. That was a really solid matchup. Loved the aggression, and I loved how Scurry Fest was able to adjust after losing their main strategy. Of course, the Wedge Robot is actually the main component, taking uh, most of, of the aggression and control points for them so far. And so losing that wheel was huge, but they were able to keep going, change the strategy on the fly, and that was impressive to see. Yeah, we are not the judges, but uh, in my scorebook, that looks like a really great opportunity for Scurry Fest. We'll have to see how that comes out, but wow. Yeah, I think I would agree there. I would give that one to Scurry Fest. I think they had it on damage, uh, control, and aggression, although every single category was close. And your winner, Scurry Fest. Fantastic, Amazing. ladies and gentlemen. January's three-pound new bot winner, Golden Dumpster winner,
scurry fest. First golden dumpster of 2024. Congratulations to Miles Sims and Robert Rund. Miles has captained a beautiful team here. Congratulations. It was a really awesome story that you guys were telling me before. You both came into NHRL at a new bots event, and here you are at a new bots event fighting as a team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, May 2022, the first new bots event. Me and Robert um, both competed at that event. Him with Crash Fest, with me with Komodo. I ended up third. Both my losses were to uh, Robert Run here. Yeah, so we, as I said, we decided to work together so we didn't have the weaknesses. Of course, this fight is the only fight that I got de-wheeled by my partner because I decided I wanted to drive straight into his weapon. <laughs> but that is what it is. Is it because you didn't want him to take, you know, all the credit? Maybe, maybe a little. Yeah, I agree with him. <laughs> well, uh, there's only one of these to give, and Miles, it is my honor and privilege to hand you your golden dumpster for New Bots January. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you all, thank you very much. So, congratulations to Miles Sims. Enters the sport in 2022, and now just two years later, walking away with a golden dumpster. Phenomenal. Yeah, again, really impressive performance. Great driving from both of them. Able to adjust the strategy in the final. Not where you want to be changing up your strategy no. on the fly, but they're able to do it. Wow. Wow. And taking down Repeater, which had looked unstoppable all day. All day. No one had an answer, but they did. Yeah, really impressive. And Miles pulled that off almost entirely by himself at the end of that fight. Incredible.